guys, welcome to another video. My name is Infinity and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to knit the honeycomb cable stitch. So there's a couple different types of honeycomb stitches. This one specifically involves cabling. It's super easy. It's an eight row repeat, but I promise it is the easiest eight row repeat on this channel. So without further ado, I'm going to jump in to the tutorial. Um, a little bit about this stitch, it's not reversible, first of all. This is the back. It's clearly the back. <laughs> um, so you'll never get confused on that. It's kind of, it's, eh, it's okay. It's stretchy. It, it depends on your tension as far as that goes. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm, it, it would look good on sweaters, scarves, hats. I think I want to make a hat with this stitch so bad. And I just might. So stay tuned for that as well on Instagram. Now I'm going to jump into the actual stitching. What you're going to need is your knitting needles, your yarn, and a cable needle. Now, I have DPNs, double pointed needles. And for this swatch, I used this guy, which had tons of slip. He's a metal DPN. I think it's like five millimeters, something like that. I used five millimeter knitting needles. I have wooden DPNs, which I forgot that I bought. <laughs> um, and they're five and a half millimeters, but my hope is that it doesn't provide as much slip as that um, wooden needle did. But basically you just need the cable needle or DPN for holding stitches that you've slipped because yeah we're going to be slipping stitches all right and before i actually begin stitching please note that i do wrap my yarn a little bit nif differently than some other knitters so if that bothers you feel free to find another tutorial just be nice about it in the comments all right and now i'm going to dive in all right so we're going to cast on and we're going to be using my beloved long tail cast on method Yay. So you're going to cast on in increments of four and then you're going to add two at the end so you can have a selvage stitch at each side of your pattern. For the swatch that I did, I cast on 16 and I added on two for selvage. So that gave me 18 stitches. You, however, are going to be um, casting on however many you need for your project. I'm not going to bore you with the basics of casting on. If you need help with that, I do have a tutorial back on my channel that goes over beginning, beginner knitting processes. So I'm going to cast on and I'll meet you back when I'm ready to start the pattern. Alright, so I've cast on a total of 18 stitches yet again. And now what I'm going to do is knit all over a one. Okay, row two is going to be all purling. So, with for me, with the exception of my selvage stitches, which I always knit, we're going to be bringing our yarn forward and we're going to purl. finish off the row with our selvage stitch. Now, row three. Row three, we are going to need our cable needle. So I'm going to work my selvage stitch. And I'm going to bring in my cable needle. And I'm going to insert it purlwise, and I'm going to slip off these two stitches. And I'm going to slip them to the back. Okay, so now we're going to just knit two stitches on our main needle. Oops. And then I'm going to come back in with the cable needle. 
and I'm going to knit the two off of there. One. Two. Cool. And we have knitted our first little cross stitches. Now what we're going to do is insert our cable needle purlwise into the next two stitches and we're going to slide them off and we're going to leave these forward and we're going to knit the next two stitches on our main needle and this can be a little fiddly honestly so I mean it's easy but it's fiddly And then we're going to come back up with our cable needle. One, two. Okay, and we're just going to do that all the way across, alternating slipping the stitches and knitting them backwards and forward till we get to the end of the row. Alright guys, so now that I have finished crossing and crissing <laughs> all of my stitches, I'm going to knit my selvage stitch. Okay, and that completes row 3 for me. Now what I want to do for row 4 is all purl, and then for row 5 I'm going to do all knit, and then I'll meet you guys back for row 6. So row, row 4 we're going to purl, row 5 we're going to knit, row 6 we're going to purl, and then I'll meet you back for row 7. That sounds good. Alright, so now I'm on row 7 and I've knitted my selvage stitch. And what I'm going to do is get my cable needle out again. And I'm going to slip two of these stitches off and I'm going to leave it towards the front. Alternating from basically what I did in row 3. Alright, and now I'm going to slip the next two stitches off. I'm going to leave them to the back. And then we're going to knit the next two on our main needle. two stitches off of our cable needle and we're going to alternate doing this across row seven and as you can see or maybe not let's zoom in as you can see that starts to create our little wells or our little honeycombs in our pattern. 
So I'm going to continue on row 7 and I will come back when we are ready to move on to row 8. And now I am ready to knit my self itch stitch. Just like that. So yeah, like I said, this starts to form our little wells. And so what we would do to complete our 8 row repeat is just purl row 8 and then the pattern starts all over and if you keep working it you will start to get these little wells offset in your pattern just like this one in my swatch so i hope today's tutorial was helpful for you guys if so don't forget to leave me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on awesome weekly content like this i post knitting tutorials every wednesday at 9 30 a.m cst and don't forget to check out my other social media as well i'm on pretty much everything except for snapchat and also maybe check out my etsy shop where i sell patterns usually my patterns are kind of based off of some of the tutorial stitch tutorials that i do but not always but that's for you to discover and until next time guys happy making